Hey guys, welcome back. I've run my butt all the way across town. We are here at the Blue Birdie. This is a clear quest. I picked this up. Uh, this is really strange having water heaters on the street. I don't think I've ever, ever heard of that. That is so bizarre. Let's loot some of this. Okay, maybe not. Let's maybe not loot it because uh, we got a friend here. Jeez. Cornmeal. Um, this is what was this? Clay. I don't really need clay per se. There we go. There's a guy over there. Let's see if that dude is back in here. He is. All over. All over. You're still not dead? Sheesh. Uh, this time we get. Hey, we got a bow. We were just talking about needing a bow for uh, sneaky, sneaky, sneak, sneak damage, right? Uh, we need some arrows. Oh, do I have feathers on me though? I don't. Don't have any feathers on me. Oh well. Not a big deal. Guess we're going up here. Hello. Anybody home? Hello? Someone in here? So, uh, I was playing around with the game, um, and I noticed the uh, hitboxes on the zombies are very forgiving. Um, specifically... The headshot. Oh, that's cool. Person under the rubble. In order to get a headshot, you don't really have to aim for the head, really. Uh, I've noticed that you can actually just just swing at the uh, above the head, and you'll get the hit. Weirdly, uh, I'm not sure if they did that on purpose. Oh, I didn't expect that to break open like that <laughs> okay shows what I know right but yeah the uh, oh here we go something we don't have uh, noise increase oh is this my issue this scrap armor is that that's what I'm wearing isn't it oh but I've got this thing yeah I'm not wearing scrap armor this increases your noise generation. I didn't know that. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, I had no idea. Gotta drop down here. I'm gonna take some pills in case I get in trouble. Don't see anyone. Oh, he tumbled over. Full scorpion, baby. One in the corner there. You work here, bud? Talked about this in Zomboid a lot, but you know what you don't want to be in the apocalypse? Working at like a McDonald's or something? Turn it into a McDonald's zombie. Oh, God. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Hey, guys. Interesting thing about uh, the POIs, too, is it seems that... There are triggers built into the POIs, and it almost seems unavoidable. Uh, can I use those arrows? No, it's not letting me. Maybe I can only use stone. Uh, it seems like it's unavoidable to wake up zombies. Like, if you step into an area, the zombies will just wake up. Maybe they want the game to be a little bit more arcadey, but... Seed crafting. Oh, I'll feel about that. This... Helmet mod. So nice. Look how dark it is. Boom. Light. Look at that. Isn't that great? Oh, this is a cross bolt. I don't know if I care. We need some arrows for our bow and arrow, but I don't know. It's not letting me use uh, those iron arrows for some reason. So, you know, whatever. Hey, bud. Oh, 
Oh, I found... Have I looted those? These contain books. All of these uh, mailboxes and newspaper stands have a chance to contain books. Yeah, untouched. Check it out. Spear Hunter. Nice. Improved salvage tool crafting skill. That's the wrench, I think. Paper. Better up. Nice. Not too bad, huh? Hey, Hugh. Did that thing you wanted. You were the dead. Crafting skill magazine bundle. 500 cobblestone rocks. I don't know if I want that because it's seems kind of easy to get cobblestone. It's just a little time consuming. 109 mil. That would give us a lot of ammo, but I'm just going to go. Mag oh, here's that free bicycle that everyone was talking about. Sure. Got any special jobs? Tier two opening I trade routes. Sure, I'll we'll do that. Enough. Why not? Oh, we got double spears and... Oh, Lord, that was a good one. We got uh, double spear, double uh, tools, and double vehicles. Look at that. Isn't that great? We need to make a new spear. She needs some plant fiber. Okay, fine. Sorry. Sorry I hit your thing. Sorry, 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 sorry. Let's make... Why can't I make this? Oh, that was weird. That was super weird. Take out the burning shaft, complete, scrap. Put this here, modify, put the burning shaft back on. There we go. And then for the stone, uh, the axe. Oh, we haven't leveled up axe. Oh, I thought we did. Oh, well, that's a bummer. So the bike, I'm gonna put this right here. It's purple. It's kind of crappy looking. Hugh, you dick. Gave me the crappiest bike he had. On the road. You know, uh, when it comes to zombie apocalypse and apocalyptic settings and yada, yada, yada about being quiet and all that stuff, everyone always underestimates the bicycle. No one's using bicycles in any of these shows or movies or anything. They're always trying to get cars, making all kinds of noise. No one's just going along using a using a bicycle. This is very strange, right? So this is like way out here. I'm way out in the freaking woods, man. I've got three honey, I think. So I don't know if I necessarily need to hit those um, stumps. Those stumps apparently give you honey. Oh, this wasn't that far. <laughs> what is this? Is this the trader? Oh, no. This is uh, U.S. Army Post number seven. Three skull. We'll stay away from three skull for now. That's on the map, though, isn't it? Oops. Yeah, that's on the map. We can see where it is. Is this my trader? This looks like Trader Jen. I'm not too familiar with Trader Jen's uh, building. I think there's some skill books out and about. Well, our, here's your pay for a job well done. Cool. Um, so I've not leveled her up, which means. Uh, I will need to do quests for her if I want to level this up. So I'm not going to do that for now. I'm just going to look around for some of these uh, books. Oh, wow, we just unlocked level four spears. Nice. We are moving along now. I'm not going to spend too much time in here. I think we're just going to go back right away. Because we've got uh, upgraded quests from Hugh. So I think we're just going to be using Hugh for the most part. My understanding is that Hugh can respawn somewhere else in the map as well. And if we find Hugh a second time, uh, we get... Uh, he'll be leveled up as if we have done the quest for him. So no matter where Hugh is on the map, he'll be leveled up, which is nice. 
All right, Jen, I took all your stuff. I'm leaving now. Maybe. Did I go at the wrong entrance? I did. I did go at the wrong entrance. We're gonna go back to our town. A lot of zombies over here, huh? Nice place. I guess we'll have to come to this military base when we uh, have a little bit more gear and levels. My understanding is that the loot you get is determined based on the stage of the game you're in. So uh, we don't have loot respawn on. So maybe going there right away is uh, kind of a mistake. We'll go there a little bit later. Unless a quest takes us there, a quest will reset the POI. Oh, that was a long bike ride. Get all the way home. Uh, I'm going to actually stop at Hugh, I think, first, just to see what quests he have, because uh, my understanding is that he's going to... Uh, he should be offering us Tier 2 quests now. Uh, unless it takes a day or two to update. I'm not super familiar with it. But we can scope it out here in a second. Yeah, he doesn't have Tier 2 yet, so I guess... I guess we have to wait on that. Uh, maybe tomorrow he'll have it. Home sweet home. Love it. Make some more water. We don't have any meat to make. I've got a ton of water, though. Boy, do we have a ton of water. Uh, I've got two of these filters. We need to see about making that dew collector, because I think we can, yeah. Although it requires a bunch of scrap polymers. I don't know how much of that's. I've only got enough for one. What was it? Pipe, filter, scrap polymer, duct tape, I think. Yeah, that was it. I don't know how to make scrap polymer. I guess we'll have to get that from harvesting like uh, trash cans and stuff. Turn that off. And this has to be outside, I guess. Uh, don't know where I want to put these. Does this count as outside? <laughs> I don't know if zombies can target them, so I kind of don't want them just, you know. Maybe what I'll do is make some make some ladders over here. And put them on the roof. Come on, let me up. Let me up. It doesn't want to let me up. There we go. Okay, do collector. This is this guy right here. And, uh... Oh, it doesn't like it up here, huh? There it is. Hope that's okay. So a forge requires level five workstation. So I think that's the first thing we're gonna be making. Don't know what a crucible is, requires level 75. That's a long ways off. Um, as for building a horde base, uh, I've got this mine here. So I think what I'm going to do is just gather up stone and uh, clay. Cause I've got a bunch of stone. I've got a thousand stone. Um, I can make shafts to go off and uh, get some more, but uh, for the time being, uh, we're actually so far down that it's not, it's no longer stone. We're now mining iron, uh, which is not helpful. So I'm thinking maybe I'll go back up to like here and maybe we'll do a uh, shaft off this way or something to gather stone because I don't have easy, easy access to stone. I uh, was digging out this mine, the same the same shaft. I basically just went into a little bit of the stone here, and I went off to the side to make this, this section here. Uh, I have run into more iron. Uh, I thought that maybe a certain level would just, just be iron. Like, it goes starts out clay, then stone, and then, like, iron, right? 
Uh, but now I'm starting to think that perhaps the iron is just happens to be here. Because uh, I didn't... This has been stoned the whole way. Until this point. So I guess... Uh, I could just keep digging down in the main shaft as well. Maybe I'll come across something else. Maybe I just hit uh, an iron section. You know? Or something. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, man. Yeah, see, here's iron down here. I think maybe I just came across a little bit of iron when I was doing it. Yeah. I went back down into the main mining shaft, and now that I have the helmet light, I can actually see that I did, in fact, come across iron, and then it sort of rotates between sand and iron uh, the lower I get. So I'm thinking I'm, thinking I'm just going to keep going down here to see what happens. Hmm. Um, so I, I was digging the shaft... Uh, making this noise now when I when I'm down here I guess that's it it won't let me go any further uh now that I'm down here I'm kind of half tempted to like try and make a underground section here and just li like move the main base stuff way down here like look how far down we are here's that other shaft but yeah, like, look how far down we are. This would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? I don't know how difficult it is to do such a thing. Um, <laughs> where we are is surrounded in iron, which is kind of an issue because it's going to take forever to dig through it. Can I build down there? Or is it going to get mad at me for that? Oh, I can build down there. We probably should be a little bit higher, though. This is going to take forever until I get some better tools, but I'm getting an absolute metric ton of iron for doing this, so <laughs> heck with it, right? Uh, I'm also going to need to get a whole bunch of friggin' wood to make... S oh, there we go. Perfect. We just need to... We just need to dig it out a little bit, and then maybe we won't be in iron the whole time. All right, it's morning. I'm out of our pit. I dug a large chamber down below. I don't have any wood though, so I didn't go too far, but we now have, um, we have 5,000 stone, uh, 4,000 iron. I have very little clay, uh, and very little stone. So, um, I'm thinking that maybe we'll go harvest some, maybe what we'll do is what we're going to, I'm going to spend some time harvesting uh, clay and stone today so that I have cobblestone and I have enough brick, uh, wooden bricks to actually build a horde base because we, we are going to need a horde base at some point, right? Uh, I also need to kill a little bit of time because the trader's in open. I want to verify that he actually has, um, <laughs> he's actually got, oh, where'd my, uh, oh, I see. I see what happened. I want to make sure that he actually has tier two quests, you know? Okay, he's open. Are you there? What do you have? So he does have tier two quests. Look at this. Oh, and there's something called restore power night only. 1.4 kilometers away. Oh, my Lord. Fetch and clear. Tier two, 130 away. I got a job for you. That's just dandy. Let's do it, man. A fetch and clear. That's cool. It's right here. How nice is that? Let's do this. You may be wondering why I'm not using my bicycle. Well, I am too, honestly. I didn't get a lot of wood. I got 1,300, not a whole lot. Would have been nice to get some more. Uh, I'm not getting it as fast as I would have thought. There's something in the treehouse. Ammo. Uh, nine mil. Dead lady over here. Am I not supposed to be on this side? Whoops. This is empty, so loot this because it'll reset. Wiring 101. Nice. All right, so we're just going in the front door. 
Probably gonna get jumped by a lot of zombies here in a second. Yep, there's one. So this is a tier two, so it should be more difficult, per se, right? Not seeing anything that stands out to me. Jack-o-lantern in that room. Um, that's curious. We need polymer. Uh, I guess it's metal. What do you get polymer from? Because we need polymer. So I guess what I'm going to do while I'm here is just hit a little bit of everything just to see uh, what does drop the stuff we need. Because we do need it. Oh, I picked up that cornmeal. Oh, I took a look at the uh, cornmeal recipes. They make... Uh, they make um, 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 a lot of late game stuff, but it requires water. So it's probably not a big deal if we had a bunch of dew collectors. We currently don't have a ton of dew collectors. Well, a lot of cornmeal in this place, huh? Oh, there's a zombie. What? There was something in there. I feel like I hear zombies on the left. So I'm trying to... Ooh, there he is, there he is. Say, I'm trying to pay attention to the left there because I feel like there's zombies over there. Well, that's a lot of blood. Throw them in there. Cool POI. No one's in here. One sign, but where are they? Outside? Weird. Maybe I'll just let them break stuff and see if they show up. Lockpick? I have no lockpicking skills, sadly. Nothing. And this gives... Play. And this one gives... Cobblestone? Oh, does this give uh, polymer? It does. Okay. Tires give polymer, so that's a good thing to loot. Miss this bag. This bookcase. Grave digger schematic. Let's check that. <laughs> I don't know what's going on out there. A lot of noises. Increases attack speed with axes by 5%. Grave digger mod. We got a pistol. Shotgun Messiah box. Cool. Uh, we need to find all these zombies, though. I hear them up there. They're banging away on something. I think they're... Oh, did I never go upstairs? Is that what's up? They're trying to break out of their doors. He was trying. He was trying real hard. Oh, no, no, no. We don't want to do that. Uh, where? Look, he almost broke through this thing, huh? So this is a clear and fetch. So we need to find the little doodad he's looking for. He wants as well. Come on. Ah. I like when they die. They're just like, ah. What's this? Leather duster. Where? 
Sure. Says it's better than what we have. Pumpkins. Oh, I should probably just throw those on the ground. I'm not going to use those. This is what the thing we're looking for. And then uh, did we clear? Did we clear the whole POI? Oh my gosh. Do you mind? They think they're so funny putting in a freaking trap door there. Okay. Supposedly it's cleared now, but I gotta go back because I didn't get to loot where we were. So we need to go back upstairs, which is right up here into that room. There was something I was looting before I fell through the floor. I guess I need to pay more attention to that because I fall through the floor pretty often. Brother Poncho says it's a lot worse than what we have. I'm not sure. Oh, that's a way up. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Let's get out of here and turn in our quest, get a reward. Heck do you get out of here? Is that a vulture? Certainly looks like one. He's ignoring me. Hmm. Is he coming to me or is he just vibing up there? I think he's just vibing, man. What are the chances I can actually hit this dude while he's like flapping around? Probably zero, right? Look how high up he is, man. No way. No way. No way am I hitting this bird. He's so far up there. Nah, F that. He wants to follow me, he can follow me. Not bad. Level two Something quest. Here trade. are our rewards. Iron fire axe, iron sledgehammer, forged steel, not forged iron. Shotgun, trigger group, semi-automatic mod scheme. So forged steel it says steel is hard to make. Some of the uh, steel is used to make some of the strongest items. But I'm assuming that I do not have access to making this thing. So I'm thinking I'm just going to go Iron Fire Axe. Because uh, it's a level 3 and an immediate and direct upgrade over what we have. I'll pick up another quest. But I'm going to end here. Hey, thanks for hanging out, guys. Uh, these tier 2 quests are pretty cool. I've got an absolute... That bird is... Those birds are still following me, aren't they? Wow, look at them all. We're being hounded by birds. What is going on? Am I holding something? Well, that's enough of those birds. I don't know what that was about. But yeah, uh, hey, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoy the series. I'm having a, an absolute great deal of fun doing this. I'm probably going to dig up a bunch of soil and get some clay so we can have thousands and thousands of cobblestone. Uh, and then we'll build our... Uh, base, horde base, I'll probably look up what some other people do, because I'm not entirely sure what to do, uh, to make a sort of quote-unquote official one. I forgot we had a bike. We were running around. <laughs> Go figure. Uh, and I'm thinking I'm going to make it away from our base. But yeah, thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next episode.